Criminal charges have been laid against one of the former officers on board the Queen of the North nearly four years to the day after it sank. March 22, 2006, the B.C. Ferries vessel rammed into Gill Island and sank, killing two passengers, Gerald Foisy and Shirley Rossette. Carl Lilgert was the officer in charge on the bridge that fateful night, and he is accused of criminal negligence causing death. Lilgert's lawyer says he will plead not guilty. A News reporter Stephen Andrew joins us now with more on the charges. Stephen? Eric, uh, investigators forwarded those charges to Crown more than two years ago. Today, with what it says is significant evidence in hand, the Crown laid those charges and says there's a reasonable chance of conviction. It has been four years since the Queen of the North slammed into Gill Island about 175 kilometers south of Prince Rupert and sank. And now prosecutors have charged one of the officers on the bridge at the time of the marine disaster. Carl Lilgart, responsible for navigation of the ship, is charged with criminal negligence causing death of passengers Gerald Foisy and Shirley Rosette. As far as I'm aware in Canada, this is the first time that any individual has been charged with criminal negligence in connection with a collision involving a passenger ferry. The president of BC Ferries hopes the charge will finally provide some closure for the families and passengers on board the ship when it went down. I don't want to second guess uh, uh, the process. I think that's probably futile, but I think it's important that uh, we let it proceed and see what happens. Do you think charges are appropriate? I'm not going to comment on that. Investigations by BC Ferries and the Transportation Safety Board failed to determine exactly what happened in the crucial 20 minutes before the crash. What is known is that the ill-fated BC Ferry failed to make a scheduled turn 14 minutes before the crash. 91 passengers and crew made it off the ship into lifeboats and were rescued that night. Gerald Foisy and Shirley Rosette did not. A court later declared them dead as their bodies were never recovered. Carl Lilgert and Karen Bricker, the two officers on the bridge at the time of the crash, were fired by BC Ferries. Lilgert's lawyer says his client will plead not guilty to the negligence charges. I expect they'll go to trial. I don't think the Crown's going to back off, and uh, certainly I'm not uh, intending to back off, so somebody will have to make this, the call on this. No question about it. The Crown acknowledges a significant amount of time has passed since the Queen of the North sank but it believes there is a reasonable chance of conviction. The case involved a lengthy and detailed investigation by the RCMP. Uh, Crown first received the initial report to Crown Council in February of 2008. Uh, Crown reviewed that, determined that additional investigation was required. And that investigation and communications between Crown and police have continued uh, since that time with the result that charges were sworn today. The BC Ferry and Marine Workers Union says it is not paying for Carl Lilga's bills and it isn't prepared to comment on whether it believes the charges are appropriate. We've never been through something like this before, so um, it's, it was unbeknownst to us what would happen. The family of Shirley Rosette, while happy the charges have been laid, believe the Crown did not go far enough. Well, I feel that he wasn't alone on the ship by himself, so I'm sure that uh, I feel that he should, there should be other people to be responsible as well as him. And, if it took this long, I'm sure that they should know who else was involved with it. Carl Lilgut is expected to make his first appearance in a Vancouver courtroom on April 14th. Now, it's important to remember that there were two people on the bridge that night, and Crown says it believes there is sufficient evidence to charge Carl Lilga, but not Karen Bricker. Now, that move, though, has started speculation that Bricker could be called to testify, Eric. Had Crown charged both Bricker and Lilgard as accused, they would not be able, uh, compelled to testify. But now that only Bricker is, uh, sorry, that uh, Lilgard is charged, it leaves the door open for prosecutors to force Karen Bricker to take the stand. I'm sure we'll be hearing more about the story. Certainly will. We'll stay on it. Thank you. Stephen Andrew reporting tonight.